Hey everybody, it's Jasmine. Happy Friday. Hey, how are you? Uh, today we're going to be doing a get ready with me. I wanted to show you guys my hair routine and I also wanted to show you guys this makeup routine and kind of just talk about some makeup and items that have really been exciting me and really have just been making me want to play with makeup. And I know I've been putting out a lot of makeup tutorials recently, but honestly, it's been making me personally feel like a million bucks. I think when you look good, you definitely feel good. So I have been trying to do my makeup as often as I can just so that I feel like I am living my normal life again, like I'm not in quarantine. Um, also, I do have a giveaway for some of my essential worker followers here. So if you'd like to enter that, if you are an essential worker, then please enter my giveaway in the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the video. I definitely have a mullet right now and that's okay. So I just showered and I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a different routine. I wanted to finish off my hair first and then go into makeup. Now I wanted to try out this brand new hair dryer that I just got from Irresistible Me. This is their black diamond hair dryer and I really like it because it's super tiny. I love mini hair dryers because I just feel like they're more lightweight, they're more compact, they don't take up a lot of room under the sink, and it just feels better gripped in my hand. But before we get into any type of heat styling, let's actually go ahead and apply some product into the hair. Now I have here the Briogeo Blossom and Bloom Ginseng and Biotin Volumizing Spray. I like to spray this on my scalp, and I also use the corresponding shampoo and conditioner in my hair already this morning. So I like to focus this more towards the crown of my head, just so that it could give me the most volume possible. To blow dry my hair, I find that using cream products really help me. I feel like it nourishes the hair and it also keeps the frizz at a minimum. So the one that I personally really love and highly, highly recommend is by r &Co, and this is called their Park Ave Blowout Balm. I don't use a whole bunch of this because I feel like if I use a little too much, then my hair can feel a little sticky. I only use about this much, like a quarter size amount, and I will run it through the ends of my hair first and then I will work my way up all the way to the root and then I also sandwich my hair like this and I just try and make sure that it's all evenly coated around all the strands of hair and then I will just do one quick brush through in my hair during the blow drying portion, I don't really want to talk because the blow dryer will be really loud, but I wanted to also mention that there are two head attachments to the blow dryer, which is nice, but I don't really like attachments like this. I just prefer it being original, just the original blow dryer round shape. So I mentioned how I just don't like larger blow dryers and this actually has the settings and features of a larger blow dryer, which is really nice and I feel like it's also really hard to find. Um, before when I did my last hair care routine, I think I was using my blue blow dryer. That one completely um, died out on me and that one only had like one heat setting and it was just very one dimensional, like it just didn't really have a lot of features. This one has uh, two speed settings and it also has three heat settings and it also has a cooling feature, which is so crazy to me because it's such an improvement compared to the last blow dryer that I had. <laughs> To blow dry my hair, I like to start with my bangs first because they get everywhere. My hair is naturally wavy. And then I will go down to the ends here and then work my way up towards the root. So this is what my hair looks like right after it's been blow dried. 
really nice. Love the volume that the blowout balm gave me. Um, I also went ahead and flipped my head upside down and I blow dried it as well just to give my hair some added volume. I didn't include that because you couldn't see me anyway. So uh, that is how I blow dry my hair. And I'm going to go ahead and pin my bangs back just because we're gonna move on into makeup now. Today I have a plethora of new items that really got me excited. I am really excited about the new Sigma brushes. This is their Air Collection. I also have this Tarte foundation that I used for the first time yesterday and it looked so good on the skin so I'm really excited about that. I also have some new Juno palettes and I used these for the first time yesterday. They were absolutely stunning on the eyes. So I have a lot of really good items to recommend here in this video so let's go ahead and start with the face you guys know the drill touch and soul no problem primer holy grail I am at the point where I have to scoop it out of the bottle like this but this is one of my all-time holy grail primers because it blurs the skin smooths the skin hydrates the skin and it makes the makeup last all freaking day everyone who I've put on to this primer absolutely loves it it is a silicone based primer so if you are allergic to silicone unfortunately this isn't the right one for you however touch and soul did launch a new primer called icy sherbet and that one is a essentially like the exact same thing but with no silicone and I also have a video talking about the differences and the similarities between the two if you guys want to watch that as well. So for the foundation, I'm going to use the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. I have the shade Light Medium Sand and it is the perfect match for me right now. I do remember the controversy of this foundation, but honestly, I think controversy aside, I think that this formula is really amazing. I think this is very comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which is really nice. Now, I'm actually gonna go in and blend in my foundation with the brush and then smooth it out with a sponge. Now, this one is by Sigma. This is their F80 Air. Their F80 is like their most iconic flat top kabuki brush. Personally, I don't like applying my foundations with the brush, but I thought this was worth giving a shot. Now this is claimed to give me a weightless application and it's also going to give my foundation a sheer to medium coverage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stipple this on. And by the way, I am a Sigma Beauty affiliate. So if you'd like to use the code that's all you at checkout, you are going to save a little bit of extra money. And so far, I feel like the coverage of this foundation did not alter. So it's weird that this claims to give your foundation a sheer to medium, but maybe it's because this foundation is already just like super full coverage. I don't have any clean sponges right now, so we're gonna use the Juno Lemon Drop sponge and I'm going to just pounce this into my skin. I really enjoy the microfiber sponges because you can either use them dry or wet, it doesn't really matter, but the lemon drop is one of my personal favorites because it is so soft and it is just really small and tiny, but big enough to just cover an entire surface area on the skin. You know, now that I'm looking at my face, I think that stippling on my foundation seems like a good idea, especially if I am working with two different colored foundations and I just don't want to mix it with my finger. I could do it with a brush and then simply apply it on my face, kind of just in that stippling motion how I did already. Um, I find that that's going to be like the only way that I would utilize this brush. I think that for the most part, I am just so accustomed to applying my foundation with my fingers that just a brush is not really like my favorite for a liquid product because it does look a little streaky, not gonna lie, especially if you are stippling it on. So you're almost forced to use a sponge anyway. Um, I don't know, that's just me. But I do have other uh, airbrushes here for the powder products. So I'm really excited to see what that will give me. But look at how beautiful this foundation just looks on the skin. Like I feel like this just has a very similar appearance to the Pure Love Your Selfie. And that's like my all time favorite foundation ever. Like I love the way my face looks. It gives you just 
instant full coverage but then it also still has like that healthy glow not super dewy and not super matte which is the reason why i love the pure one so much and for the most part i had it on for a pretty long time yesterday on my skin i mean i had it on for a couple of hours and it looked really really amazing while we are in the realm of shape tape let's use a shape tape concealer why not i have the shade light medium and i'm almost done with this one this has definitely been like my ride or die concealer for so long ever since it launched it has been a concealer that i truly cannot live without i already bought a backup <laughs> that's how crazy i am i was lucky enough to actually get another tarte shape tape at Ulta on sale for $10, like a full size with a sponge included for $10. Like I was, I was shook. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about essential workers. I am so incredibly thankful for everyone who is an essential worker, whether that's you working at a McDonald's, you working at a grocery store, you in the medical field, whatever it may be, if you are an essential worker, I do not take your work for granted. I am so appreciative that you are taking time out of your day and choosing to put your health at risk just to work. I think it is so important to highlight those who are working right now because you know, it's just crazy how if I need to go to the store and grab something, you know, I'm able to and it's because of those who are working right now. If I need to have a therapy appointment, my therapists are there. If I need, you know, anything right now, like if I'm craving McDonald's, McDonald's is open. And so I just am very thankful uh, for everyone, no matter where you are working. I just wanted to say that I appreciate you. And I know everyone knows this, but just please continue wearing your mask because it is really important. And I know sometimes, yeah, you may have forgotten it at home, but I just, I feel like it kind of rubs me the wrong way, especially how in California, all establishments are requiring you to wear a mask when you go inside stores. Um, the other day I went to the Dollar Tree because I needed to get some supplies and there were so many people in the Dollar Tree who wore a face mask right when they entered, but as they were in the aisles, they just took it off and started to just like cough everywhere. And I, I felt very uncomfortable to say the very, very bare minimum least. And I just wanted to just quickly remind you guys how important it is because right now you don't know who has COVID. You don't know who is sick or not or who just has like just choked on their saliva like you just don't know and i think just to protect everyone and to make every place feel like a safe environment i think that it is really important to protect yourself to protect others and while i am at it if you are in the grocery store and you know you're wearing your mask you could still talk with your mask on so you don't need to be shoving people in the aisles and this is just me ranting because literally so many people have been like behind my back and like literally pushed me out the way and like i just didn't even notice that they were there and it's just like <sighs> don't touch me like i like you could just say excuse me and i can move out the way for you i went to go get like a hand basket one time and i didn't i didn't end up with a grocery basket because i saw somebody use a napkin and then just toss it into the grocery basket and not even into a garbage can so thank you to everyone who works at grocery stores i don't know how you do it especially during these times mind you i have worked at a grocery store for uh like a very long time like over five years um and i know how crazy it could be working at a grocery store but especially during a pandemic and especially during a time where people are just a little bit more ruthless now they tend to fight back like i truly just i thank you thank you and I do believe that those who are working during this time should get bonuses, should get raises. 
And I think that for everyone putting their health at risk just to work is so selfless. Like I, I just, you know, I just think that you guys deserve better. The brows are on and I just use like my typical Anastasia dip brow pomade. You guys know that's on my project pan list. So this is how my brows look right now. Oh my God, do I have a bald spot? Oh my God, hold on. Crisis averted, we fixed the bald spot. So I have these new quads from Juno & Co and I am just so ecstatic. They are so buttery, so pigmented. As you guys know, the Cherry Bomb palette from Juno, let me go get that real quick for reference. This one right here, amazing. I love the array of colors in here. The bronzer works so amazing on my cheeks. The blush and the highlights look so amazing and it's just so buttery and so easy to work with. So with that in mind, I was like, okay, their eye palettes are going to be super buttery, super smooth and honestly, I was not wrong. So yesterday I played with the blue palette which looked like this super icy, super cool. I really do love it. Um, it doesn't have a mirror on the inside, but if you turn it on the back side, you could use it as a mirror, which is really nice. They do have a purple palette here, which is so stunning, so pretty. I love purple. Purple is one of my favorite eyeshadow colors. I think it looks beautiful on literally every skin tone. And then they also have a warm toned summery palette here, which I think is also really, really beautiful. They also launched two new face palettes. So this one here, this one is called Le Papillon. I think it's French. And it is like this purple toned face palette here. Really, really beautiful. I love this little butterfly imprint that they have going on here. Really pretty. And then they have this margarita palette, really, really stunning. I think this looks great on the eyes as well. I did use these two shades uh, yesterday for my eyes and cheeks and it turned out really beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and recreate the look that I did yesterday with the Dreamer palette here. Now, I started out with this beautiful cobalt blue shade on a small blending brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and coat my entire brush with this and find my orbital socket and just place it right in there. Back and forth motions only. This is our main color focus and that's the reason why I wanted to apply it straight into the crease first. Just like that, it's not gonna look blended, but that's okay. You just want to apply that color and we will blend later. We're gonna take a big fluffy brush and we are gonna coat all of the bristles into the light blue here. This one does have a little bit of shimmer, but I think overall it really adds like this icy dimension to the look. So we're gonna go ahead right on top of that cobalt blue, right where our transition shade would normally go. And we would just go ahead and blend this back and forth. And remember to hold the brush down at the bottom just so that you have less pressure. And as you see, as I'm blending, this shade really just helps diffuse the cobalt blue and just makes it look a little bit more smoky. We're gonna go straight back into the cobalt blue in that smaller blending brush and we're going to redefine the crease area. This is also going to give the illusion that this eye look is matte once again. How has quarantine been treating everyone? I know that a lot of people nowadays have been starting some of their small businesses. My mom has been making a lot of face masks. She has made hundreds of face masks and I'm just so proud of my mom. And that's just been something that she has been doing. And you know, I started my Etsy and I know a lot of you guys have started, you know, sticker companies. So if you have started a small shop yourself, please let me know in the comments or you could DM me and I'd love to help try and support some of your guys' smaller businesses as well. I think that it is really important to help each other out, especially during these times. And you know, if I could, you know, find some bomb products from one of my followers then hey, that's amazing. With an eyeshadow brush, I will be taking the gray and applying that all over the eyelid. And this is just gonna make it look like a really dark, intense, smoky eye, which is totally up my alley, but we're gonna be brightening it up with the glitter that's in this palette. With my finger, we're gonna go ahead and apply this glitter and I just like to tap it on. This one is a white glitter, but it also has this green reflect to it, which is 
really pretty and I think overall it kind of gives this like a blue sea ocean vibe like it looks really pretty every single time I do my eyeliner nowadays I feel like I'm gravitating towards the shop Missy artista liners these are so amazing so pigmented today I'm using the blue one and I'm gonna go ahead and create a nice long wing I have a brand new mascara for this video, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and curl the lashes because we are not applying fake lashes today. This is my Shiseido Lash Curler, and I feel like my lashes literally just look so long whenever I curl it with this lash curler because it just conforms to my eyes so well. We have the brand new Lash Freak Mascara from Urban Decay and this mascara is very interesting because on one side you get the brush which is here and then you get this flat plastic side to really help lift the lashes. The wand on here makes it so easy to apply product. I feel like each lash gets really coated. It doesn't clump up, but it adds volume and a lot, a lot of length. My lashes are normally really tiny, which is the reason why I use fake lashes in the first place because you want what you can't have. And I feel like with this mascara, although my lashes are really short, I still really enjoy the way that they look even without the false lashes. I'm going to quickly finish off the lower lash line with the Marc Jacobs Overnight Blue Liner. And then with the light blue that's in the palette, I'm going to go ahead and blend this out onto my lower lash line overlapping with that blue liner just so it could blend into something. For the inner corner glow, we're going to be mixing two shades. This is the Margarita palette. We're going to be mixing this purple here and this iridescent purple here. And just apply that right into the inner corner just to give some life to the eye look and to just really brighten everything up. So I went ahead to finish off the eyes and honestly, I feel very naked without my lashes, but you know what? I'm trying to embrace my natural self here. So let's go ahead and finish off the face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm going to be using one of the new Sigma brushes. This one is the F74 Air Domed Buffer. Whoa, this grabbed a lot of powder, whoa. Whoa, I got like a huge whiff of chocolate and I felt that go down my throat. Oh my lord. Okay, well, at least we know that with powders, it actually picks up a, a lot of product, which is really nice, especially if you have a product that normally takes a lot of building to do. Hence why I chose this uh, bronzer for today because I wanted to really test it out on something that I am very, very familiar with. This bronzer is pretty light on me, but I wanted to kind of just add it as a base because the bronzer in the Margarita palette is pretty tan on me. So with that, I'm going to just take a light dose of this color just to deepen up just the very perimeter of my face, just to add a little bit of dimension, almost like a contour to my face. You guys know that blush has been my absolute favorite, but because we have such a bold blue eye, I don't want to go too heavy handed on blush today. So the new blush palette that I have is by Revolution and this, what kind of palette is this? It doesn't say the name of this palette, it just says blush palette. So it's the one with the little flamingos inside. I will find the name, but I'm going to use the one that looks like the most, um, brown which is this one here and i'm going to go ahead and use that on my cheeks oof oh and by the way this is the f53 air by sigma and this one is the uh, contour and blush brush as much as i love blush i really do not want to go heavy handed with this one this is a matte blush by the way so i want it to just look as natural as possible just so it's not counteracting the blue eyeshadow making me look crazy the highlight that i'm applying on my skin here is the lightest shade in the margarita palette 
And honestly, I didn't expect myself to really enjoy this highlight because I have such a strong yellow undertone. And normally purple highlights on me don't look super flattering. I could pull off a pink highlight, but purple kind of gets a little iffy. It can look a little ashy on my skin. But this one is like the perfect amount of purple fuchsia. And it just reflects really beautifully on the skin. When I turn my face, I don't have like a stripe of darkness, which is really, really nice. And I think kind of makes this highlight stand out from a lot of other iridescent highlights that I have tried. We are almost completed with this entire face. I have this brand new lip kit set from Real Her. And let me be so honest, two of the items in here are my absolute favorite. So this one is called Take on the World. It has a liquid lipstick, a lip gloss, and a lip liner. If you've been here for any length of time, you guys know that the Real Her I Am Confident lip liner is my ride or die. I have a very strong love for that lip liner. It's like this perfect, brownish rose color and it literally looks good with every single nude lip shade that I have in my collection. So it comes with that. It comes with a full size I Am Radiant lip gloss which is another lip product that I really love from Real Her. This lip gloss here is one of the very few true lip gloss formulas that I can wear throughout the entire day without feeling uncomfortable because you guys know I don't like gloss. And then there is a liquid lipstick in here called I Am Enough. The Real Her lip liners are so freaking creamy. It is just one of those formulas that I feel like is so slept on. I love it so much. And they also have a deal where you can get all 12 of their lip liner shades for only $40. Ma'am, like that is just so crazy. Such a steal. Highly recommend. We're going to use that liquid lip. So this is what that lip color looks like. I think I want to skip out on the gloss today because I love this formula here. I just love the way that my lips look. I do want to add a different shade from Real Her right on top, but before I forget, I am a Real Her affiliate. So if you do want to save money at checkout, be sure to use the code That's So Yin just to save you guys a little extra money. And while I'm here, I'm also a Juno & Co affiliate. So if you'd like to save money on some of the palettes, whether that's for the eyes or for the face or for the sponges, then you could definitely use the code That's So Yin at checkout as well. Usually all of my discount codes are just my username name. Um, all of the affiliate links that I have are always encouraged, never forced. I just thought I'd bring it up for you guys because I always forget to bring it up and I feel like it's, you know, just nice to remind you guys here and there. So this lipstick had a chance to dry. This is a very comfortable moisturizing liquid lip formula not sticky, it doesn't feel heavy, but I feel like I want this to be more of like an ombre lip. So we're gonna take the lipstick in the shade I Am Optimistic, which is a beautiful, light, warm nude, and we're gonna apply that right in the center. And just like that, everyone, we are completed with today's video. I hope you guys all really enjoy. Thank you so much to everyone who is an essential worker. Your work does not go unnoticed and just know that I appreciate you and so many other people appreciate you as well. I know right now times are tough. I know sometimes rude customers can feel like it's never ending, um, but you know what? You are appreciated and I hope that you get a chance to enter my giveaway because I want to give back to you you and make you feel validated and loved and that you matter. And if any of these products pique your interest, don't forget to check out the description box. I like to keep it as organized and as detailed as possible for you just so it's easier for you to keep track on you know the products that might make it onto your wish list also if you guys want to check out my etsy it's greatly appreciated i love and appreciate your guys' support so much yesterday we reached 45 sales on my etsy and i just cannot be any more appreciative and just I feel the love from you guys, so thank you all so much for supporting my small business. If you guys want to share some of your guys' businesses with me, then don't forget to leave it in the comments below or send me a DM on Instagram. I would love to check it out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.